Hello, I'm back for another Carrara 3D Studio Max car modeling tutorial. So what we're going to be doing is... We're going to be doing the top of the hood right here. So I'm going to basically go into here. Go into insert plane. So I'm just going to go into here. So first of all, I'm going to go into here, turn that off, grid. Just going to move, turn this off. Move that up like that. And I'm just going to go in isolation. And I'm just going to move this right about here, like that, go insert, go edible polygon, go vertex, select this, I'm actually going to go right click and I'm going to select edge. Select this right here. And then I'm just going to go into here and go extrude. Extrude settings, extrude. Bring this all the way down to zero. zero and just click on the check mark right there to confirm that we're going to move this right about here actually right about here actually and i'm going to actually turn this and i'm going to turn on visibility and i'm going to actually lower down the capacity to that to around six right here like that. And I'm just going to go into here. Move that down like that. Like that. Move that up like that. This up. Top. And I'm just going to go Swift Loop. Put sections right here. Like that. And I'm just going to go into here. Move this right about here. Move this right about there. Move that right about there. Go into here, go in isolation. And isolation. And now I'm just going to go into here. I'm actually going to go to the top. Isolate. 
and I'm just gonna select Azure or I'm just gonna go to right click Azure is just faster hold down CTR and then I'm just gonna go into here and click loop like that go into extrude setting move that down right about there so I'm just gonna go into here and I'm just gonna go wild settings one one select that go in isolation Move this right about there. And now I'm just going to go into here. Top. Move this light on. Like that, pretty much. Go edge slide. Like that. like that pretty much and now we're gonna select this edge slide and I'm just gonna put edges right here that represents this thing right here about there here polygon Select these right here.
Now we have that. We're gonna extrude that. have that already selected go in isolation and I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna go So that's set right there. Going top right here. And now I'm just gonna go into here. In isolation. So I'm just going to go out of edit mode, go into hierarchy, hierarchy, reset pivot, Effect pivot. Zero. And I'm just gonna go into here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go into here, copy right there. I'm just going to go into here, add, attach, go, isolate, Weld, weld that right there, and now I'm just have that done. So we're not done yet. It's a lot more we have to do. So now we have to do the window. But I'm gonna actually give you an example of how this is gonna look. Turbo smooth. And isolation. And I'm just going to go into here. I'm just going to go object property. Like that. Let's go into here. And I'm just going to go here and I'm going to turn this to a pink color right there.
So we're going to select everything. And now we're just going to go into isolation mode. Top right here. So now I'm just going to go into here and now I'm going to add a plane. We're going to make sure that snap is on. We're going to go into geometry. Plane right here. Like that. Go right click, move, turn this off. Go edible poly. And we're going to move this down right there. Right about there. Right there. Go into here. Go into select this. Select this. Select that top. Go top right here. Select here. And now we're going to select that and put that right about there. He looks like you. Select that right there. And we're going to select that right about there. Now we're going to go into here, we're going to go Swift Loop, Edge Mode, we're going to go Swift Loop right here, and now we're going to put this right down here, and select this. Move that down right about there. We're going to go out of top level right here. We're going to select this thing right here. We're going to go object property. We're going to lower the capacity around 6. Invisibility. We're going to go into here now. And now we're going to go select this. And we're going to go into... We're going to go into vertex. We're going to go into vertex select mode right here. Move this right about there. Move this right about there. Move this right about here.
Like that. And now we're gonna go into here and we're gonna go Swift Loop. Right at the bottom. Like that. And now we're just gonna go on the edge. We're gonna select this thing right here. We're gonna move this up like this. We're gonna go edge, loop. Move that up like that. But I'm gonna go into the top level right here. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna go object property lower bring the visibility up all the way to 10 so we have a better inside of this. We're going to go into here, we're going to select this item, we're going to go to Vertex, right click. Actually, we're going to go into Edge, Edge Selection, and we're going to select this thing right here. We're going to go Loop. We're going to move that like that. Loop. This one we're going to move this like this. Loop. Loop. Right here. Loop. So now what I'm going to go into here is go into here and select this. And I'm going to move this up like that. Select this. Like that. Move that up right there. Move this up right about there. Like that. Select on. Move that up right there. So we lower that down right there. A little bit above 25, but that's okay. I 
Baik San And Isolation So now we're going to go into right click polygon select or we can go into here or here and now we're going to select this <clears throat> we're going to select this we're going to select the entire element actually and we're going to go into polygon selecting and now we're going to go into right click and set Right click, isolate. Now we're just going to go in the cut right here. Right click. Right click. We're going to go into here and we're going to go into vertex select mode. We're going to go into target weld. Right here. Right here. We're going to select this. We're going to select that too. And we're just going to do this all the way to the bottom. Now we're just going to go into here and we're going to go add a swift loop like that. Move that up like that. We're going to go in isolation like that. We're going to go isolate again to see how that looks. Now we're going to go swift loop again. And we're going to select that. Now we're going to select here. And move. Like that. And now we're going to go right about here too like that. So we have that now selected. And isolation. So we're going to go out of here, we're going to go into hierarchy, effect pivot, we're going to set this at zero, and now we're just going to go duplicate, and we're going to hit copy right there, we're going to go edible poly, attach, We're going to go into here and we're going to select all of that. We're going to go into here. We're going to go weld. We're going to go into here and delete this and go one. And now we have that uh, pretty much. And now we're just going to go into here and we're going to go attach and we're going to attach this thing right there. We're going to go out of edit mo window. And that's pretty much it with this tutorial. We're just going to change this to pink. Go into here. Actually, I'm going to go into here, turn off Turbo Smooth, and I'm going to go attach this, and now I'm just going to go into here and go Turbo Smooth, two iterations like that, 
So we have that all selected. And now I'm just gonna go into here and show you what this looks like so far. We're gonna go and I we're gonna go isolate right here. And now I'm just gonna go into here and select this. And I wanna go move that up. Turn off constraint mode. Like that, move that up. Move this up. And just go into turbo smooth. Like that. So we have that all done. Right there. So that's all done. So the next tutorial we're going to do the top basically of the sunroof of the car. So the next tutorial we're going to do the sunroof of the car. And then basically starting tomorrow I'm going to do the side windows right there. And the side mirrors for tomorrow. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope I can help you out. And I hope this tutorial helps you out. My name is Lance Brown and I hope you, I, I, this tutorial has helped you out. Thank you and goodbye for watching my tutorial.